Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's been a, it's been a very busy day, or last couple of days, hasn't it? I mean, the content has just been flying, but when you do a video and then all of a sudden there's just more news and more news and more news, but I just want to say a massive thank you again. Like, it does mean a lot to everybody who keeps on coming back and supporting the channel, so uh, really do appreciate that. And obviously the people who are new, um, if you are interested in the membership down below, then it's up to you, you don't have to. Then it, uh, then it obviously it goes a long way to be able to help support the channel and the reason why i set it up was is because there was a couple of people who suggested that i should start setting up something like that so obviously if people do want to be able to sign sign up then it, obviously everything can go back into the channel and uh, i can in a sense build more of a professional platform for you and i, I guess more of a pla uh, professional platform for for myself so i just wanted to like talk about um the the possibility of one of the Leeds United targets, uh, or Leeds United are going to be missing out on one of their targets. It's not, it's not really a, a target as such from who like who is linked to the club. I think a lot of Leeds United fans would have loved this type of um, player at, at Leeds United, and that is uh, Ryan Giles. And uh, I've been doing a lot of research on him actually in the last couple of uh, last couple of days because <clears throat> I came across his his stats when he was playing on loan at Middlesbrough from 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 Wolverhampton Wanderers and he would honestly suit the Daniel Farker system he is a, a is a, I guess this this day and age there's a lot of modern day uh, fullbacks and we can all sit here and say oh yeah well we need someone like Alioski blah 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 and I think that's that is that is somewhat true I think we do need a uh, we do need wingers who can who can both defend and attack I mean Alioski wasn't amazing when it comes to to, to, to defending but at the same time we've all got like like mistakes in in our game and ryan giles is only young he's only 23 years old he, he had an impressive loan spell in the championship at, with middlesbrough but it's looking more and more likely that luton town obviously in middlesbrough have uh, also inquired about him but luton town and more are in advanced talks with ryan giles and for five million pounds i mean you, you can't go wrong i mean that's the asking price of the of the defender so i think Leeds united should have gone out there and should have looked at him because it's like who we're gonna who who's gonna replace junior furpo in that in that sense because we've got leo helder which is fine he did he did really well at rotherham but is he going to be able to or is Daniel Farker going to be able to look at him and be impressed with him and think, OK, well, he's our number one left back until Junior Firpo comes back. And then as well, it's like, are we going to play Junior Firpo when he, when he comes back and returns from injury? We don't know. So in my opinion, I think Leeds United still need to go out there and buy a left back. I think there is obviously talks out there that we're going to be going for a goalkeeper in the next couple of uh, days or by end of next, uh, by end of, uh, by start of next week, should we say. So... It's a bit quiet on the left back uh, situation, but I'm a quite I'm a little bit gutted to be fair that Ryan Giles isn't linked to Leeds United aren't linked to 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 the club in a sense. So into into other news, Leeds United are also interested in a Dutch right back. He's called Milan. Um and I can't remember what team he plays for, but I'll put it up on the screen right now for you. Um and he's someone who has really, really impressed me. I mean, I don't really think Leeds United are going to be able to, to, to buy him. He plays right back, but can play right midfielder. And uh, the way he glides, he just he just reminds me of a younger version of uh, Rafinha. He's, he plays play in the Dutch league, I believe. And uh, he, he, I don't know, the, the amount of goals and the amount of assists this guy gets from the right back position and the right midfield position, it's, it's unbelievable. He's very quick. He's very strong. He's got that ability to play for that top six club. I, I, from watching, from watching him, he's got that ability to play in the in the, in the top six teams. So I don't really think we're going to be able to go out there and pay for for the the, 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 the fee that they're asking. I mean, eight million pound isn't bad, but if you're getting interest from the likes of uh, Porto, uh, who are a big big club in European football. Then I can't see him um, rejecting Coventry and rejecting. I think there was another Championship team. And then to decide, okay, yeah, I'll go to Leeds United when there's teams like Porto, uh, like in a sense, surrounding the the the, the capture of his of his signature. So I don't really think Leeds United are going to go out there and be able to sign this player. I mean, it would be great, but also with the likes of uh, Cody Dramme and the likes of. Uh, in a sense, uh, Sam Byram now linked to to the club on a free, and then we've got Luke Aiden as well. We don't need more, more and more 
right backs because it's like if we're going to be playing some if we're going to buy some byron or get him on a free is he going to be playing left back is he going to be uh, competing to play right back and as well as like okay well what happens to cody drame what happens to luke Ayling? which one's going to be dropped and which one's going to have to be sold you know so we have to put that into perspective because i don't really think the club want to have like four right backs at, at the uh at the helm so i don't really think that one's gonna that one's just gonna come off i just think it was just agent talk and stuff like that so uh, I, I, I can't see that one happening and as well the last bit of news obviously comes from sinistera there's a lot of speculation that he was supposed to be linked away from the club but phil hay i read an article saying that phil hay has come out and pretty much said that no one seems to be fully interested in sinistera which to me is kind of good it's good and bad because We'll start with the bad. Um, he's injury prone, isn't he? We all know that he's injury prone. He continuously gets injured. He was he was the same at Fahrenheit. Don't understand why he, he picked like the quality of player he is. He continuously picks up these injuries, and and it's sad to see really because the his like ceiling, his potential is is on another level. It is is like a Rafinha esque, and I think he could go on to bigger things and play for really big clubs. AC Milan at the start of the tran uh, July transfer window, 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 <laughs> window. Um, they they were supposed to be apparently interested in signing. I mean, the sources that I could could find, I think it was because they started selling players. So the the, the players with Leeds United like selling and loaning players, loaning out players. I think it maybe was just like rumor or paper talk because of how many players Leeds United were selling at the time then i don't know i mean the fee was supposed to be around about 21 million pounds i mean it would have been a decent decent amount of money to be able to recoup into into the transfer budget but i don't really think it was like a full-on interest from from ac milan and uh yeah phil has pretty much come out and said that there doesn't really seem to be that many teams out there who are interested in and to me i think that's good as well because if we can keep sinistera fit because don't forget the championship isn't as physical, isn't as demanding, isn't as aggressive as as the Premier League. Fair enough, it's still very competitive. But if we can keep Sinistera fit and we can keep him, in a sense, in line with his fitness, then I think he's going to have a fantastic season. I think he's going to give us one more season, like Willie Nonto and Tyler Adams. I think there's going to be a couple of these players who are going to give us one more season in the championship. But then... If we don't go up, fair enough, the value may drop on these players. But I reckon they'll go after maybe one more season. So it's good news. I mean, I like I like that. I like the fact that, he, yeah, fair enough, he's injury prone. So clubs may not want to take the risk on him. But some clubs may do. But at the same time, I think with him being injury prone, it gives Leeds United the advantage to, to be able to keep him. But at the same time, it's a disadvantage because we won't be able to use him. <laughs> you know? So it's 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 one of those things. It's it's like a hit and miss situation, isn't it? So uh, I'm hoping and praying that we can keep him fit, open and praying that nothing severe happens to him over the uh, over the preseason, and obviously, hopefully, nothing goes wrong with him in uh, in in the season to come. So yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leeds United are, in a sense, silly for not going out and trying to buy. Ryan Giles for five million pounds. I don't think this transfer rumor is gonna go anything about with the right back from Dutch, from the Dutch league, um, and as well, it's more and more likely that Leeds United are gonna be able to keep hold of uh, Luis Sinistera. So if you are new around here, you've never seen my face before. I'll always try to bring out Leeds United content on a daily basis. So if you did enjoy today's video, I mean the the, the last couple of days have been getting so many like followers over 70 followers have come in the last couple of days so thank you to everyone that is so if you are interested in the giveaway just continuously like the video the more likes we do get the more chance that you'll be entered into into the giveaway so and the membership as well as in the description below and if you are interested in that you will get an extra vote in the uh, in the um in the giveaway so yeah that's uh, i guess that's everything from me i hope you have a fantastic day it's tuesday morning and i will see you tomorrow peace